Walking through the city, I was reminded of the words of Walter Benjamin, who wrote about city life in the 1920s and 30s. He described the explosion of advertising as something that hits us between the eyes with things, as a car growing to gigantic proportions, careening at us out of the film screen. With Walter Benjamin's work as a guide, I started to investigate this economy of signs and the new urban space of the media city. So who's being targeted? Everybody, everyone's fair game, it's public spaces. Now we're getting to this level of control that we never had before, and that is a very different dynamic. So this is, is a war for them to taking over the whole world. It's basically, public space is no longer public space anymore, it's a media channel. As a designer, I create environments for people, and in that sense, I create something real. But we forget that the content that we deliver to those environments, for example, the software on the media screen, is quite often even better than real, you know? It's a hyper-real world. Here in Times Square, we see all the fascination of lights, colors, movement, that historically are part of the passion of cities. But, you know, the signs are much more exciting than the store itself. Increasingly, our society is about images. Screens, from video billboards to mobile phones, have become our link to communications, information, shopping, and entertainment. These seamless, illuminated, electronic surfaces are becoming the devices through which we frame our experiences.